Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're taking a look at some of the newest tweaks that you can install on the iOS 12 jailbreak. And just to be extra careful when you're installing things, a great idea is to have a trustworthy VPN on your device running to securely hide your personal information. So. Before we get into things, let me quickly introduce you to VPN. Now this is a fast and easy to use VPN service to protect your online privacy. Now after using this for a few months now, I've really not even noticed a single difference in my internet browsing speeds. That is how fast this thing is. It's by far the best VPN service that I've ever used, but my favorite part is that it's just for so many devices. It's for Mac, it's for PC, and of course it's for iOS for all my fans out there. Now, I really think you guys are going to love this service just as much as I do. That is why I made it super easy for you guys to find. It is the very first link at the top of the video's description. This is, of course, right next to all of the sources and tweaks list, as well as our jailbreak status checker for A12 devices and that subscribe button. All right, well, let's jump into things, taking a look at the newest city of tweaks for the iOS 12 jailbreak. So everyone by now has probably noticed the most apparent one that I'm going to talk about in today's video, and that is called Asteroid. Now that is what is bringing these live weather animations to my wallpaper on my home screen. If you guys can see, the weather application also has a live background. It even has the current temperature right there, and again, that's dynamically updated. That's cool and all, but my favorite part about this tweak is when you go to the lock screen. It gives you this awesome splash screen, letting you know the current weather conditions and it just looks really elegant. Anyway guys, that one is called Asteroid and it's by far one of my favorite newest city of tweaks out there. So continuing along with this video, another one of my favorites from this last week is called Call Bar Excess. Now this was recently a tweak for iOS 11 that was just recently updated for iOS 12. It basically replaces the phone splash screen whenever you receive a call or make a call to something simple like this. It's super minimalistic. It's by the same developer as Small Surrey, and uh, I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. So let me call myself real fast so you guys can get a gist of what this looks like. So that is what it looks like right there. That call bar looks absolutely fantastic on the iPhone 10, and again, this works on other devices as well. But there's a ton of things that you can customize with this tweak. You can drag this guy all the way down to the very bottom, so it's at the bottom of your iPhone as well. Bunch of stuff you can do. You can change the color of this to white, um, but I thought you guys might enjoy that one. I really like having my device be super simplistic. Again, it's by the same developer of Small Surrey, which looks just like that. I've shown that off in a couple videos as well. But now we have Call Bar XS for the iPhone 10 on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. So one that I've really come to love over this last week is called App Switcher Grid. So it basically turns your multitasking switcher into a two by two grid layout. And it looks something just like that. It's super simple, but I like being able to see more of my recent applications. And the animation style was done super elegantly, super nicely. It honestly feels really natural and reminds me of the old like iOS 6, 7, and 8 App Switcher. Anyway guys, that one's called App Switcher Grid. So another awesome free tweak that I think you guys are going to enjoy is called Dune. Now this is basically a free dark mode tweak. It emulates the same thing as Noctis, but like I said, is entirely free. So if I scroll over to my widgets pane, as you guys can see, it looks almost identical to Noctis, but this tweak is entirely free. And as you guys just saw on the settings page right here, these are the other things as well that it makes dark. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dark keyboard. So there's that dark keyboard. Oh, I can't I can't believe I don't have bar emoji installed right now, but that is what the dark keyboard looks like. That looks pretty sweet as well. So that one is called Dune. Again, it's entirely free and brings dark mode to your guys' devices. And very lastly, to conclude this video, we're going to talk about iCleaner Pro. It was just recently updated for the iOS 12 jailbreak, and I'm sure many of you guys out there know exactly what this tweak does. It basically cleans up your iOS file system, removing old tweak files and just extra unnecessary things from your phone, making it faster, clearing up some space so you guys can store more apps and videos and things like that. Anyway, that was just recently updated for iOS 12, so I wanted to include it at the very end of this video. 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's quick video on the latest tweaks released for the iOS 12 jailbreak. Again, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker pages so you guys are notified when the jailbreak utility is updated to include support for those devices. Again, definitely check out that VPN service if you have time, it is absolutely phenomenal. Anyway guys, that is just about all I have for you in this video, so until next time, this is Tony, signing out.